So today we're going to talk about the math. It comes down to basically solving for three different problems. Um, first off, you want to assume that you're using a 60 degree uh, equilateral triangle. That will help you um, just as an assumption, basic assumption. We'll start there and work from there. Um, the other is you want to figure out how many facets you want to have in your arch. So if you're going to have um, 8 or 12 is the recommended for me. I mean, that's what I use. I used 8 for this um, shed here, and um, it worked out pretty well. But I can see where if you want to use a 12, uh, that'll help um, with your scarf joint being a little stronger um, in the long run. But um, because it would be a five degree angle. Let's go and figure this out. If the number of divisions you have is eight, divide 60 by the number of sides you have, that'll give you your degrees of angle. And it just so happens that that is the same X as the um, triangle you're trying to form. There's a proof and it has to do with the um, amount of turn here to here, that turning angle is x. From this line to this line is x degrees. So when this rotates down that far, it's rotating down x degrees. So when this line here goes from here to here, it's x degrees. It makes it very simple. Um, I worked at it backwards. I was working with the idea of having just seven and a half degree angles because I liked it and it divided equally into 60. And I didn't realize that is actually, um, I was figuring out both for this and for that at the same time. Uh, it's a nice, it's a nice round number. Um, but so is 12. 12 goes into 65 times and it gives you a five degree angle. So here we can look at this again. 10 feet, let's say. I've worked out a, a couple of examples of possibilities using my calculator. So n is either 8 or 12. These are two different equations here, 7.5 or 5 degrees. Um, the uh, 60 degrees divided by n equals x degrees. So if you have a 7.5 degree angle and your radius is 120, then uh, the length of this L length here is going to be 15.696. And your height of your H is the width that you're going for here of your uh, two by material for your frame. So H is the height. The angle is seven and a half degrees. In this case would be uh, 2.483. So this is uh, two inches on the um, angle of my shed. Angle, length of your scarf joint is going to be directly related to the height and the angle of the triangle. So it's very direct. Um, hopefully I haven't muddled that up too much in trying to express it to you, but because I'm not a mathematician, it's really hard for me to express it out loud. So um, you might say, well, that's great. I have a... But it's too thin and so I want it stronger. I want it stiffer. So one of the things that's nice about this sort of detail, and here's my glued up example of uh, three or four different ways of stiffening up your um, arch. You can, um, this is red highlighted so you can see the triangles in here. You can double up your layers, which is this area right here. You can spacer it. You could fill it in solid with uh, mitered blocks, or you can just 
uh, go a single layer on the outside of miter blocks, or you can just do occasional blocks. So there are a lot of different ways you can play with this. The reason this is cool is because each one of these angles is the same. So this rotation, it gets smaller as you go through. So you may want to adjust this a little bit. I didn't have to for this. There's a little bit of jazz going on here uh, where um, some play, a little bit of glue um, filling, but it's uh, for my sample, I think it shows that it's really possible. It doesn't take but a minute change um, to adjust this uh, in and out. And I have a little bit of overlap here and there um, where the triangles just overlapped like an eighth of an inch. So it, um, it works out. Just uh, an idea to play with. This is, uh, th this is going to be something I think that will be a very powerful uh, tool for uh, making arches to a specific radius uh, using a specific thickness, building up a laminated beam, um, and then using your plywood skin as, um, as also a part of the structure. Uh, that's what I did here. I only have two frame members, and I use the plywood skin folding it and gluing it together uh, with a sealer um, glue, which helps um, support it all. So that's my take today on the numbers. Let me know in your comments box uh, what uh, questions you might still have. Uh, I think you can um, work with this pretty well. Again, um, study it. I've had to study it a little bit to get it to what I, to understand it even. Um, but anyway, good to have you here. It's fun to be talking and uh, I'm looking forward to more um, more things coming along. So if you uh, like, hit like and subscribe. And uh, the subscribe button is uh, down there in the bottom. It's going to be fun. Well, uh, I, what's interesting about this too is that we can change the length of these as they progressively get uh, up the scale. So that'll become really great when we do the uh, growing vault uh, because we'll need to play with that inside arch is not the same as the outside uh, arches. So we'll have to play with that a little bit. And I'm looking forward to it. All right. Till next time.